Japan faces a new challenge, a rare and deadly flesh-eating disease known as STSS. Several lives have been lost within 48 hours after contracting this disease. As at the 2nd of June 2024, 977 STSS cases have been reported for the first six months of 2024, more than the total number of cases identified last year. STSS, short for Streptococcal Toxic Shock Syndrome, is a rapidly progressing bacterial infection. The disease is characterized by its aggressive attack on soft tissues, often leading to devastating consequences. Although rare, the recent surge in cases in Japan has brought STSS into sharp focus. The disease is a response to Group A, Streptococcus, gas, the same bacteria that causes strep throat in children. Some strains of the bacteria can lead to rapidly developing symptoms like fever, low blood pressure, limb pain, and swelling. If left untreated, these symptoms can develop into necrosis, organ failure, difficulty breathing, and even death. In Japan, the death rate currently sits at 30%. Understanding the disease, its causes, and preventive measures is paramount in combating its spread and mitigating its potentially fatal outcomes. STSS is triggered by a common bacterium called Group A Streptococcus, or Group A Strep. While this bacterium is often associated with milder illnesses such as strep throat and impetigo, it can morph into a life-threatening menace. The severity of STSS stems from the toxins released by the bacteria. These toxins wreak havoc within the body, triggering a cascade of inflammatory responses that can quickly overwhelm the immune system. The toxins released by Group A strep in STSS cases cause a phenomenon known as toxic shock. This syndrome disrupts multiple organ systems leading to a rapid decline in health. The bacteria typically invade the body through breaks in the skin, such as cuts, burns, or surgical wounds. However, it's crucial to remember that even seemingly minor skin abrasions can serve as entry points for this dangerous bacterium. Early detection and treatment are critical in managing STSS and improving chances of survival. The effects of STSS on the body are swift and severe. The initial symptoms often mimic those of the flu, with fever, chills, muscle aches, and nausea. However, as the infection progresses, more alarming signs emerge. The affected area may become red, swollen, and extremely painful. The skin might even develop a rash that feels hot to the touch and resembles a sunburn. As the toxins course through the bloodstream, they attack vital organs. Organ failure is a significant concern in STSS, with the liver, kidneys, and lungs particularly vulnerable. The toxins disrupt blood flow, leading to tissue death, a condition known as necrotizing fasciitis. This flesh-eating aspect of STSS is particularly alarming and requires immediate medical attention. Prompt diagnosis is often challenging due to the initial flu-like symptoms. However, rapid progression of symptoms and the characteristic skin changes warrant immediate medical evaluation. The Origin of the Silent Killer The precise reasons behind the recent surge in STSS cases in Japan are under investigation. However, several factors might be contributing to the rise of this deadly disease. One theory points to an increase in the prevalence of a particular strain of Group A strep that is more likely to produce the dangerous toxins. This strain might be more adept at evading the immune system, leading to more severe infections. Another factor could be changes in societal behavior, such as increased close contact among individuals after lifting COVID restrictions. Overcrowded living conditions and frequent skin-to-skin -skin contact can facilitate the spread of the bacteria. Additionally, Weakened immune systems due to factors such as aging, chronic illnesses, or certain medications can make individuals more susceptible to severe infections like STSS. Treatment and Preventive Measures Against STSS Once contracted, the treatment for STSS involves high-dose IV antibiotics and supportive care, but prompt attention and intervention is crucial. While the thought of a flesh-eating disease can be frightening, the good news is that there are steps we can take to protect ourselves and our communities. According to the National Institute of Infectious Diseases, the best protection against gas and STSS is good hygiene, including thorough hand washing, treating any gas infections promptly, and keeping a close eye on any wounds, cuts, or infections of the skin. Washing hands frequently with soap and water, especially after using the restroom and before handling food, is paramount. Covering coughs and sneezes with a tissue or the crook of the elbow helps prevent the spread of respiratory droplets that may carry the bacteria. It is also crucial to avoid sharing personal items that may come into contact with saliva or open wounds such as towels, razors, or drinking glasses. 
Cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched surfaces can further reduce the risk of bacterial transmission. Promptly cleaning and covering any cuts or wounds with sterile bandages is crucial in preventing bacterial entry. Stay informed, stay safe. Earlier this year, the Public Health Agency of Canada revealed that invasive group A streptococcus IJS, disease activity was higher in 2023 compared to pre-pandemic years and has been identified collectively by the federal, provincial, and territorial governments as a priority for monitoring and control and must be reported to the public health authorities. Around the world, other countries have also reported an uptick in both gas and IJAS infections post-pandemic. In late 2022, at least five European countries reported an increase in IGS cases to the World Health Organization, coinciding with the lifting of COVID restrictions in each country. The recent surge in STSS cases in Japan is a stark reminder that infectious diseases remain a significant public health threat. While the situation is undoubtedly concerning, it is essential to approach it with a sense of informed caution rather than panic. If you or someone you know experiences symptoms such as high fever, chills, muscle aches, vomiting, diarrhea, or a rapidly spreading rash, especially after a recent cut or wound, seek immediate medical attention. By staying vigilant, informed, and proactive, we can collectively mitigate the impact of STSS and protect ourselves and our loved ones from this rare but deadly disease. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to Healthwise.